SwiftUI gives us the alert modifier for presenting the user with important choices. We also have the sheet modifier for sliding one view fully over another. But we also have the confirmation dialog, which is an alternative to alert that's great when you want to show many options. Now, visually, alerts and confirmation dialogues look very different. On iPhone, alerts sit in the middle of the screen and must be actively dismissed by the user by choosing one of the available buttons. On the other hand, confirmation dialogues slide up from the bottom, have many buttons as you want to have inside there, and can be dismissed by tapping cancel or tapping away, tapping the view behind the dialog. Now, they might look different, but internally they're created almost identically. Both are made by attaching a modifier to our view, alert or confirmation dialog respectively. Both get shown by SwiftUI automatically when a condition of our choosing becomes true. Both can be filled with buttons to take various actions, and both can have a second closure attached to show an extra message if you want to. I'm gonna show you how these things look, okay? First, we'll make a simple button that toggles some kind of state. We'll say, uh, at state, private var, showing confirmation is false. And then our body, I'm gonna say we have a button saying hello world, like that. And when the button's pressed, we'll toggle this thing between true and false. We have a frame width of 300 and a height of 300. And that's intentional because I'm gonna add a second property here to track a background color. So we'll say the background color is color.white by default. And apply that after the frame, like so. Background color, boom. Now for the important part. We're gonna attach another modifier to the button, creating and showing a confirmation dialog when we're ready. Now, just like alert, we have a confirmation dialog modifier to work with and it accepts three parameters. The title to show, the binding to decide whether it's showing right now or not, plus a closure containing all the buttons that should be provided inside there, usually as a trading closure. Now we can provide our uh, dialog with a, a, a title, yes. We can optionally also provide a uh, message to show for extra content there, plus an array of buttons, and they're stacked up vertically in the screen in the order you provide. And it's generally a good idea to add a cancel button there at the end, um, because of course, yes, you can tap elsewhere to cancel if you want to, but it's much better to give an explicit option to users. And so we'll add a modifier here called confirmation dialog. This will be called change background is presented, I'm gonna bind to dollar showing confirmation and our actions, we're gonna say we've got a red button that sets background color to be red. We've got a, a green button where background color will be green and then a button blue where we have background color of blue. Like I said, make sure you got a cancel button with roll of cancel like that, boom, just to make sure it's nice and clear how to get out of there. And we'll add a message below saying text, select a new color. So when I run the app now, we should find tapping the uh, hello world button here slides up these options. There's our title set new color. I'll press red, boom, I'll press green and then blue all working very nicely, obviously invisible now slightly, but that's how it works. And then press uh, red again, and then it'll try cancel, does nothing at all. And again, you can just tap behind here in the view behind it to just dismiss it automatically. It works very well. 